What's going on people? Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down an injury that has occurred in a PSG player. So the same team that Messi, Neymar, Mbappe plays for, their defender got injured the other day. Their defender is called Kimpepe. He suffered from a full ruptured Achilles tendon. His Achilles tendon ripped off, yeah? Your Achilles tendon is the most tensile, strongest tendon in your body. Tendons attach uh, muscle to bone, so yeah, this attaches your calf to heel. What his role is to produce energy and force production within your calf. And what's happened is when Kimpepe has been running, he overstretched his Achilles. So an eccentric force at a fast pace has occurred where his tendon has pulled. And when his tendon has pulled, it has gone to a complete rupture. No rehab is gonna sort this out if it is a complete rupture. What needs to happen now is Achilles tendon surgery. So what the surgeon is gonna to do to help heal the Achilles tendon, first insert Kimpepe with some pain relief so he doesn't feel this because it's gonna be extremely painful. He'll make a cut just on top of the calf, then he'll be able to play around with the Achilles tendon and allow them to fix together again. So he'll um, do his surgery to try and help them from separation to putting them back together. And then from there, rehab occurs. However, if the Achilles rupture is so much, he may have to get a graft from a different tendon in the body and place it in the Achilles tendon for it to heal. Now, recovery time, PSG are going to be out of their top defender for about seven to nine months. The recovery time it is important and it is crucial that he takes it seriously. So this is where physiotherapy is involved. What we need to do is we need to start off with strengthening up the Achilles tendon, however safely via a protocol that we follow. Usually what happens to strengthen up the Achilles after Achilles rupture, firstly there's a lot of scar tissue around the area after the healing. So the ankle is going to be so stiff after surgery. You're going to have lack of range of movement in dorsiflexion, a plant infection. It's going to be a struggle to walk, to weight bear. But what we want to do is we want to start slowly focusing on the first stage of rehab is non weight bearing exercises. This is to strengthen the calf and strengthen other areas around it. When we start to weight bear, when it is safe, when it's a safe time to weight bear, the muscles around the calf and the muscles of the calf have got a little bit of blood flow and a little bit of strength so they can weight bear more and there's less likely for another injury to happen. This type of uh, rehab is very important. If you do not do the acute phase of rehab after an Achilles surgery, so if you don't uh, strengthen it up, mobilize it, reduce the scar tissue around the area, then you're more likely to get an injury in the later rounds. You're more likely to re-injure your Achilles but it's crucial during this phase, strengthen everything up. Then after the non-weight bearing phase, then we start weight bearing. We start doing Achilles and calf isometric exercises um, to help reduce pain and to help get the blood flow within the area and the muscles active again. After the isometrics and after we got more range of motion, uh, we stretch out the, the calf muscles to, within their capability, then we will start implementing isotonic. So that's uh, concentric exercises, uh, so like calf raises and also lower limb exercises to help strengthen and reduce the impact on the Achilles. After that, Kim Bepe is gonna introduce running again and introduce agility drills slowly and steady after his Achilles is somewhat stronger than before. And then after that, it's gonna be some eccentric work just to help lengthen the Achilles while strengthening it and uh, lengthen the calf while strengthening it so that when this mechanism of running occurs at such a fast pace that the muscle is not gonna tear again. However, he needs to be very careful at the beginning stage of the injury to make sure he carries all this protocol out correctly and advised by his consultants or it could be a major issue. So me personally, I believe Kimbepe is gonna be back after about seven to nine months because it's a complete rupture, but I wish him a speedy recovery. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn notification bells on.